today we are going to learn linear inequalities in two variables part 3. First, we will learn how to share the region that represents the inequalities. Second, we learn how to write inequalities that satisfy the shattered region. Question number one, share the region that represents each of the following inequalities. A, y greater or equal to negative 2s plus 6. When you look at here, greater or equal to means the region that we need to share is above the line. Here. This is the region y greater or equal to negative 2s plus 6. As long as greater than or equal to, so is above the line. y less or equal to negative 2s plus 6. Okay, same graph, but now the sign is less than or equal to. If less than or equal to means the region below the line. Here. This is the region y less or equal to negative 2s plus 6. C, y greater or equal to 2s plus 2. So this is a line with equation y equal to 2s plus 2. So we look at the sign greater or equal to. Greater or equal to means above the line. Is here. Question number two. Share the region that represents each of the following inequalities. A. Y less than 2s plus 8. When y less than 2s plus 8, here no equal to, only less than, the line will become dashed line. Okay. So, less than, the area, the region is below the line here. So we share the area y less than 2s plus add. If more than is above the line, less than below the line. Okay, y greater than 2. So this is the line y equal to 2. And dash line also because no equal to. y greater than 2 means above the line. So it's here this area or this area greater than 2 if y less than 2 is area at the bottom here you see s less or equal to 5 you know at the left hand side here all the value of s is less than 5 so the area if s less or equal to 5 means the area at the left hand side here shade the region here all the value of s is less or equal to 5. We go to next question. Question number 3, actually from example 10 of your textbook, page 169. Check the region that represents each of the following inequality. A, y less or equal to s plus 3 and s less than 2. So for this one, y less or equal to s plus 3. So you find the equation y equal to s plus 3. So this is the line equation of the straight line y equal to s plus 3. How to represent y less or equal to s plus 3? We share the region. So less than or equal to means uh, the region below the line. So it's here. This is the region y less or equal to s plus 3. Okay, now s less than 2. s equal to 2 is this line. Less than, so you will see the total uh, dash line because less than no equal to. Less than, s less than, right hand side or left hand side? Left here, right here. Less than means uh, s, the value of s less than 2 is at the left hand side here. So, shade the region. This area, s less than 2. So, now we want to find the region that satisfies both inequality, y less or equal to s plus 3 and s less than 2. So, you find the area that have two colors. So, it's here. Okay, so, this is the region that satisfies both inequality. So, I color it with blue color. Okay, this is the answer. 
y greater or equal to negative s, y less than 3, and y greater or equal to 0. So, y greater or equal to negative s. Here, the line is here. So, greater means above the line. So, the region above here is greater or equal. So, y greater or equal to negative s. Okay, now y less than 3. So, you find where is y less than 3? This line, right? Okay, less than means the region below the line. So, region below here is less than. Or here, the value of y is less than 3. Y greater or equal to 0. So, where is the line y equal to 0? On x axis, y equal to 0. So, this line. If greater than 0 means above the S axis. So this region is y greater than zero. Of course, here also y greater than zero. I can extend the line actually all the area above. So you will see we have one area with three colors. Okay, this region we have two colors only. Here also two. Here one color only. Okay, so here, inside here, one, two, three. So I shade it with blue color, this one. Okay, across it, easier for me to see. Okay, so this area satisfied y greater than, y greater or equal to negative s, y less than three, and y greater or equal to zero. Okay, next question. Four on the graph below share the region which satisfy the three inequalities y greater or equal to negative s minus one y less or equal to two s plus two and s less than one and we check one by one here we only can see two lines here first is y equal to negative s minus one is for first inequality second y equal to two s plus two is for second inequality so we need to draw s equal to 1. How to draw s equal to 1? Okay, first you go to s axis and find s equal to 1, s1 here, the value of s equal to 1 is here. And you draw a straight line parallel to y axis and make sure the line that you draw is dashed line because no equal to. If you got equal to, the line is solid line. So this one is dashed line. Yeah, like this. After you have three lines, now we shade the region. Oh, we shade the y less or equal to 2s plus 2 first. Okay, here less than, if less than means the region below the line. Okay, next is y greater or equal to negative s minus 1. Greater means region that above the line and the last one s less than one s equal to one is here less than one is the area at the left hand side here so you will see the three color intersect here so this uh, this is the region that satisfy the three inequality okay next question question number five just now we already learned how to shade the region. Now, they give you the shaded region. You need to write three inequalities that satisfy the shaded region in diagram below. Before you state the three inequalities, you must know the equation of the straight line for these three lines. So for first one, this line, the equation is y equal to 5. Why y equal to 5? Because the line is parallel to s axis and intercept at uh, 5 here. So y equal to 5 here. On y axis, s equal to 0. And how about this line? This line we need to use 
uh, step one, two, three to find it. Equation of the straight line. First, we find the gradient, step one, y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 because we have two coordinates. Here, 5, 5, and the origin here is 0, 0. That's why we use this formula to find the gradient. So gradient equal to 5 minus 0 over 5 minus 0 equal to 1. After we find the gradient, we find the S uh, y intercept. We find the y intercept here. Y intercept is 0. So the equation is y equal to S. So after find the linear equation of these three lines, then now we write the inequalities that satisfy the shattered region here. So the first inequalities is y less or equal to 5. Here, the region here, shattered region is below the line. When below the line is less than, and the solid line, we have the solid line, that's why it got equal to. So y less or equal to 5. The next one here, we refer to the shattered region here, is more than or equal to 0. That's why s more or equal to 0. The last one for this one, the shattered region is above the line. When above the line is more or equal to, because this is solid line. So y more or equal to 0. Look at next question. Write three inequalities that satisfy the shattered region in diagram below. Okay, so according to the diagram, we have s equal to 0 and y equal to s. So this line, we need to find the equation of the straight line of this line. First, we find the gradient. So for this one, the line here, we have y intercept at and s intercept is equal to 4. So we use the formula m equal to negative y intercept over s intercept. So m equal to negative. Don't forget the negative because the formula got negative. And you substitute y intercept equal to add. And s intercept equal to 4. So equal to the gradient equal to negative 2. And y intercept you can get from here. y intercept is add. The linear equation is y equal to negative 2s plus add. So all these three equations, now we write the inequalities. Okay, first one here. We look at the region here. For f is more than 0, right? So the first inequality is s greater or equal to 0. Greater or equal to Zero. Second equation, we look at y equal to s. The shattered region also above the line. When above the line is greater and the line, solid line, so we have or equal to. So y greater or equal to s. Okay, the third one is the dashed line. Here, you look at the region here is below the line. When below the line is less than, because that's line, so no equal to. So y less than negative 2s plus add. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.